lift your hands to God and just worship Him, the Most High, the God of double portion. Let's give Him glory. Lift up your two holy hands to Him and just worship the name of the Lord. Tell Him, thank you. Thank you because you are God of double portion. Thank you. You are not tired of blessing us and we are not tired of receiving blessing. Give Him glory. Give Him honor. Give Him majesty. Just just give it to Him. That God has brought you here today again to give you blessings. Let's give it unto Him. Let's give glory and honor to the mighty King. He's the King of glory. He's the Lord of Lord. Is the unchangeable changer. Oh, we worship. Lord, we adore your great name, oh God of heaven. Thank you because you are God of double portion. To you be glory, honor, and praise. Thank you for bringing us to Silo Hours today. We worship. We adore your name, Lord. Thank you, glorious Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. I'd like you to pray and say, my father, my father, I decree your word into my life and I command my body to bear fruit in the name of Jesus. My life, hear the word of God, bear good fruit from now in the name of Jesus. My body, I decree in the name of Jesus, hear the word of God, bear good fruit. Bear fruit in the name of Jesus. Let the power of flourishing of God come into my body in the name of Jesus. Lord, arise and empower my body to bear fruit in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Father. We worship and we adore you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I'd like you to pray and say, my Father, Let every tree of barrenness, using my life to build empty mansion, let them be cut down in the name of Jesus. Every tree of barrenness, using my life to build empty mansion, be cut down by the power of God in the name of Jesus. Every, every tree of barrenness, using my life to build empty mansion, be cut down. In the name of Jesus. Be cut down. In the name of Jesus. I've come to Shiloh today. And I know my God. Is out to do something for my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord Almighty. Let every. Tree of madness. Be totally moved. In Jesus. Mighty name we pray. You are going to pray. You are going to pray and say, my father, I decree today that every dryness in my life, dryness in my womb, whatever problem I may be having around my life that has not allowed me to get the desired fruit, today remove them by fire in the name of Jesus. I want you to turn that to prayer in the name of Jesus. You land of my destiny. Land of my womb, hear the word of the Lord. Be fruitful now in the name of Jesus. Produce fruit from now in the name of Jesus. Produce fruit now in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. You are going to pray and say, My Father, every covenant of dryness, let them be set aside. Let the covenant of fruitfulness be enforced. Over the covenant of dryness from today. Every covenant contrary to the covenant of fruitfulness. You are set aside today. May the covenant of the Lord, the one he paid for, let it be enacted. In the name of Jesus, let that covenant be enacted. To the glory of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Every root of shame in my life. Right away I command you in the name of Jesus. Right away. Loose your grip. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Two more prayers. You are going to pray and say my father. 
beginning from now, I will bear fruit. Beginning from now, my body will flourish. My family will flourish. Anything that is negative and contrary to good report in my life, let them be flushed out. Your word has declared that I will flourish like palm tree and I will grow like cedar in Lebanon. I want this to be my portion. In the name of Jesus, let this be my portion from today. Lord, beginning from now, I will bear fruit. I will flourish like palm tree and I will grow like cedar in Lebanon. Lord, in the name of Jesus, whatever has been the obstacle on the part of my bearing fruit, let them be totally moved away. Oh, let them be totally moved away. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I'd like you to prophesy over your body. You are going to prophesy. You are going to prophesy and say, my body, hear the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, you will produce desire fruit. My body, hear the word of the Lord. Every anomaly is in you. In the name above every other name, be rectified. My body, hear the word of the Lord. I have a covenant of fruitfulness and you will obey the covenant of God. My body, hear the word of the Lord in the name of Jesus. From this day onward, you will not respond to shame again. You will not respond to reproach anymore. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, glorious Father. Oh, we worship you, Lord. We magnify you. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus, most mighty name, we have prayed. It shall be so in the name of Jesus. I have a father, almighty father. He is king of kings, the Lord of lords. I have a father, hallelujah. I have a father, almighty father. want to give you thanks thank you for the season of double portion we bless your name for who you are you deliver unpromised and you deliver to exceed even expectation but thank you for that for last week that is full of multiple blessings Thank you, Heavenly Father, for opening us up today with another blessing. Thank you for the hour of Silo. We want to say thank you. Thank you for answering prayers on this holy altar. Oh God, in the past, and you are still doing it. We say glory be to your name. We bless your name for your mouthpiece, the prophet of the nations, and the mouthpiece to the nations. A father that you have raised, we say thank you to you. You own the glory, you own the honor. Receive our thanks in the name of Jesus. We have come here today for the hour of Shiloh. You met with Anna in, in a day. We ask, oh God, today you will meet with everyone in the name of Jesus. The few words Lord, that has been approved by God, the Holy Spirit, with the permission of our Father in the Lord, will bring dividends of grace, dividends of fruitfulness, dividends of joy to every life here in the name of Jesus. Let every covenant that is not of God be set aside. 
and let the covenant of God be enacted. We thank you, maker of heaven and the earth. Lord, I commit my mouth, my head, and my heart to you. Lord Almighty, I, I am representing you here. And my Father and Lord, who have determined that I should stand there this day, I pray that you will take over my leaves. And a few words will bring blessing to the people. Thank you, eternal Father. Lord Almighty, we ask that all the prayer points we have raised, the God who hear and answer, answer us by fire in the name of Jesus. And get the glory at the end of the day. Jesus, most mighty name, we pray. And let the people of God shout a big Amen. I'd like you to speak to your neighbor on the left and on the right that this season of double portion, the covenant of God will be enacted in your life. This season of double portion, God will bring to pass his covenant in your life. This season of double portion, God will bring his covenant to pass in your life. Take your seat. God bless you. I want to appreciate my father and the Lord, uh, that the, uh, the boy, the general of ourselves, the redeemed Christian church of, of God and for the opportunity to come and stand there. Pray just as children can pray for their parent too, that from glory to glory, God will lead him. Anointing to anointing God will lead him. His strength will not be abated. The grace of God in his life will not diminish. Himself and his wife and his family, they will continue to experience wonders. And everyone that say amen, get triple of that blessing. Exodus 23, 25 to 26. Exodus 23, 25 to 26. And you shall serve the Lord your God. And he shall bless thy bread and thy water. And I will take away sick, I will take sickness away from the means of thee. And there shall not cast their young, nor barren in the land. The number of, of thy days I will fulfill. The Lord bless the reading and hearing of his word in the name of Jesus. Dealing with covenant of barrenness in the season of break, in the season of double portion. Dealing with covenant that is against fruitfulness in the season of double portion. There is no doubt just as God hates I mean barrenness. It's also abhorred by men. Many families are going through this experience of shame. And that's why under this atmosphere of double portion, we want to say something on dealing with the covenant that is against producing fruit. And on many occasions on this particular exalted altar, our Father in the Lord has divine covenant to us, the meaning of covenant. That's an agreement between at least two entities to do certain things that will bring certain outcome to pass. And so, and the outcome will benefit both parties. But that's not where we are going today. So an agreement is a promise. An agreement is a ban. Agreement is a guarantee. Agreement is a warranty. It's an undertaking of commitment. And we are read to us today, the Almighty God, the King of Glory Himself, He didn't send an angel. He was ruling just as He said to Moses earlier. I mean, said to Moses in the book of Exodus, He, he, he said to us that none shall be buried. I pray today every stigma of unfruitfulness, every stigma of barrenness, every stigma of fruitlessness from today it is banished in the name of Jesus. 
I said it is banished in the name of Jesus Christ. What? Why must I be fruitful? Let me attempt and roll that out before we talk about how you in particular and me, how we can together deal with any covenant that negates what God has said. God has spoken once. And the word of God is yea and amen. In Psalm 119 verse 89, he said, the word of God is yea. I mean, it's settled. It's forever settled. Nothing can remove it. Why must you be fruitful? Why should your situation change? Number one, because God has commanded it. The very t- first time God has to speak to a man in Genesis chapter 1 verse 28 Genesis 1 28 He said be fruitful Be fruitful It's a commandment And forever oh God your word is settled In Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 8 Isaiah 40 and verse 8 said grass wither Flower fades. The word of our God shall stand forever. And God is far away from lying. Because Numbers 23, 19 said, Numbers 23, 19 said, God cannot lie. So, you must be fruitful. I must be fruitful. Because God commanded it. Once he commanded it, it is done. Number two, why must You are maybe fruitful. Number two, God wants increase in number. He wants increase in number. The same Genesis 1.28. Genesis 1.28. Be fruitful, multiply, and replenish. The Almighty God loves number. He He loves numbers. He loves numbers. He is called the Lord of hosts. That means a large numbers of army. A large numbers of hosts. And a large number of an army. Why must you be fruitful? Number three, because God has the plan. He has a plan to fill the earth and subdue it through his highest creature, mankind. He has plan to fill the earth and subdue it through his highest creature called mankind. The same Genesis 1, 28. And that means you and I and our seed are to replenish the earth. Number four, why must you and I be fruitful? Because you are already blessed with an irreversible blessings. Everything working against your blessing from today shall be totally destroyed in the name of Jesus. In Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3. Ephesians 1 3. Blessed be God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. You are blessed with irreversible blessing. And nothing can corrupt that particular blessing. And God will bring it to pass in the name of Jesus. Why must you be fruitful? Number five. Because barrenness is evil in the sight of God. Fruitlessness. Unfruitfulness. Is Evil in the sight of God. In John chapter 15 verse 2. John 15 verse 2. He said, every branch in me that beareth no fruit, he take it away. So it's the desire, commandment, and it's something that God has packaged that will happen. That's why we have read this particular as a text, he said, none, none 
That means there should not be anyone in his household that will not bear fruit. I pray today, whatever stigma of unfruitfulness in your life shall be taken away in the name of Jesus. Number six, why should you bear fruit? Because fruitfulness is not only that is the is the desire of God, it gives God more, it gives God joy to be able to, I mean, to make you, pra- to, to brag. He said in that John chapter 15, verse 2, when you read the B part of it, John chapter 15, verse 2, the B part of it said, and every branch that beareth fruit, he pointed it that he may bring forth more fruit. More is given to the one that bear fruit. Fruitful, I mean, that fruitful branch has the grace to be poured and produce more and produce more. I pray today you will produce more in the name of Jesus. Number seven, why? You must be a fruit. Why should I be a fruit? Why should you be a fruit? Because you are already in the agenda of God to keep the creation going. You are already a blessed person. You are already in his dictionary. You are already in the agenda of God. Look at what he said. In Exodus chapter 1 verse 7, Exodus 1 7, and the children of Israel were fruitful and increased abundantly and multiplied and worked exceeding mighty. And the land was full, was filled with them. I pray today, the house that, be, that have been empty before now, God will fill the house with multiple children in the name of Jesus. In Psalm 130, Psalm 130, verse 9, Psalm 113, verse 9, the Bible said this, He make the barren woman to keep house and to be a joyful mother of children. Praise ye the Lord. After today, you will praise the name of the Lord. Whatever has been the hindrance or hindrances, from this day onward, the covenants of blessedness that our father Abraham had, the Lord will bring the same to fulfillment in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. God has said these parts because each time we talk about the blessing of God is a two-way traffic. It's one thing for God to promise blessing. It's another thing for you and I to receive it. As for God, His covenant is so certain. As for God, He cannot break His covenant. Psalm 89 verse 34 said it. Psalm 89 verse 34. He said, my covenant will not break. That you will, produce, you will pro, produce fruit. It's not negotiable. It doesn't matter what the report says about you. It doesn't matter what they have written down. It doesn't matter what the technology engine of the, of medicine has, 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 has uh, brought out as a result. The result of God will overrule in the name of Jesus Christ. God has his part. What is your own part? Let me try and see if we let us as we attend to this. What do I do? I know God has promised. But what should what do I need to do to connect myself to this blessing? Number one, the very first thing is that if you are not born again. Or you are born again, something has got wrong. 
in the process of waiting, in the process of going here and there, certain thing has been introduced that doesn't exactly look godly. You need to confess. Confess whatever it is to the Almighty God. In First John, First John chapter one, eight and nine. First John chapter one, eight and nine. The Bible said, if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. And the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, is faithful and just to forgive us our sin and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We need to confess. Maybe it's that little, little thing. And the Bible said, remove the little, little things. The little foxes that destroy the vine. That's number one. Number two, what do I do? Command the body of barrenness to be removed in the name of Jesus. Command the body of barrenness to be removed in the name of Jesus. In the book of Philippians chapter 2, 9 to 11. Philippians chapter 2, 9 to 11. The Bible said, God has exalted the name of Jesus above any other name. Above the reports. Above what they have said. Above what the x-ray, MRI and all the things has revealed. That at the name of Jesus, all needs shall bow. And I pray for someone today who care to say amen. Every report of barrenness in your life, not only they are suspended, they are totally destroyed and dismantled. Number three, what do I do? You need to break all our holy covenants in the same name that is above every other name. Break all our holy covenants in the name above every other name. In John chapter 14, 13 and 14. John chapter 14, 13 and 14. He, he said to us that we need to pray. But in verse 14, he said, ask anything in my name. And I will do it. Ask anything in my name. And I will do it. And the one who promises the word from the beginning. Jesus didn't send an angel. Jesus himself said this. When he was walking on the planet earth. The word from the beginning that is full of grace and, grace and truth. Ask anything. Number three. What do I do? You need to ask Maybe there are some deposits from the enemy. Some things that the wicked has put there. You need to ask the owner of the load to carry their own loads. In Job chapter 22, 28, Job 22, 28, the word of the Lord said, you will decree a thing and it shall be established. So whatever they said they have discovered, whatever they said is the obstacle, because God is not the one that put the thing there. You tell the owner of the load, carry your load. The owner of the house has come to dwell. Whatever deposit in your life, whether you inherited it, whether it is acquired along the path, whether it's as a result of your deliberate disobedience or deliberate sin, by the power of the name of Jesus, by the power of the blood, by the power of his word, they shall be taken away today in the name of Jesus. And number five, 
you need to hold. Hold to the promises that God has mentioned to you. Where we started from, the Lord said to us, carry gotically in that particular book of Exodus 23, 26. Exodus 23, 26. There shall nothing cast their young nor be barren in the land. And that word is not an advice. That word is a decree. And you belong to the order of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. You also have the capacity to make that decree. You hold to the promises. You need to hold to the promise. And the promises. In Isaiah chapter 40, verse 8. Isaiah 48. Grass can wither. Flower can fade. The word of our God shall stand forever. Heaven and earth shall pass away. But a single word from his mouth will never come on forth. We never come without fulfillment. It doesn't matter how long the situation has been. It doesn't matter how deep they must have told you those things working against your your fruit your fruitful life may be. God has all the power. All powers in heaven and earth belongs to Him. Jesus Himself said that to us. In Matthew 28, verse 18, all powers in heaven and earth has been given. And that power is given to be able to solve your problem, to solve my problem, to solve our problem. And this particular day, this season of double portion, you will not only carry one, you will carry twins. You will carry triplets. The Lord will do it in a wonderful wonderful surprising way that ye it will be without any stress in the name of Jesus you have had different testimony forget about menopause menostop octopause and all the like those are what created by men but God is in charge of your life and he will bring it to pass enjoy double under the season of double portion. Delay and breaking covenant of uh, unfruitfulness in the season of double portion. God has promised, but you need to receive. That's why I want to back on before we start praying. We will do what our father usually do, what he will usually do on occasion like this. If you are there, you are yet to surrender your life to him, or you have surrendered your life to him in the process of moving here and there. And um, something just went missing. You didn't want to compromise, but you have no, the shame is too much. The reproach is too much. You want to say, pray, please pray with me. Please, alive, or you want to say, I, I want to rededicate. I miss it somewhere. Our Father in the Lord has promised to keep praying for you. You know, He has delegated us to, God bless you, God bless you, just come. He has delegated us to come and do this on His behalf. And we are doing it on His behalf. Your name will be, they will, will get your name and will surrender to Him and He will be praying for you. And the rest, if you are clapping, clap. And that does not disturb your prayer. Thank you, ma. Just come. Any other person, God bless you, sir. Please quickly come so that we can do the needful. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. There is a blessing for a season. Give God a chance to be able to do it for you this season. Give God a chance to be able to open a book of remembrance. Give God a chance so that you can get the full dividends, the full dosage. 
of double portion. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. If you are clapping, clap it well for Jesus. God bless you. And my brother, my sister, father as a mother by the altar, please pray that the GO is the one that usually stands on this altar. He has delegated us to do it. And it's God. We answer your prayer. It's God. We see to it that your shame ends today. It's God. We see to it that you never suffer any reproach anymore. It's God. We see to it that a new chapter of a new beginning shall be opened to, to you. It's God. We see to it that everyone that has mocked you before, they will come and celebrate your great God. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Let the rest of us as these people of God are praying. Those by the altar, please, I want you to pray. Have mercy on me. Show me your mercy. And let the rest of us begin to deal with every covenant. That in the name of Jesus, every unfruitful covenant in my life, in any area of my life, in the area of childbearing, in the area of winning souls, in the area of working for the Lord, in the area of doing fantastic things for the Lord. Let those things be removed in the name of Jesus. And the people in the front begin to plead for mercy. The mercy of God. 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 Thank you, blessed Father. You are worthy to be praised. Glory be to your name. In Jesus most wonderful name we have prayed. Eternal King, we want to thank you. The King of Kings and the Lord of all Lords, we are grateful to you this particular day. Thank you because you are always there. The God who keep covenant. These are your precious people. Who have come before this only an exalted altar. Because they need a touch. We pray that this particular day. The touch of reconciliation. Rejuvenation. The touch of new birth. New life. New beginning. Forgiveness of sin. We touch their life today in the name of Jesus. They have come to the altar where life is altar for good. May your life be altar for good. All little, little foxes that destroy your vine, may they be totally removed in the name of Jesus. May your name go back into the system of God in the name of Jesus. And as you have come to the, to the holy altar this particular day, that that your name will be changed and you will become saints before your name will be pronounced in the name of Jesus. The power to serve God in the end. May the Lord release over unto you in the name of Jesus. Everyone will say amen. Iniquity will not be found in your tent. When the rock call up in heaven, we'll be there to reign with Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And let the church sound a big amen. Please, for all our brethren who are before the altar, that did you want to know your name, your address, so you have to give your correct address, so that when uh, that is praying, your prayer will be sent, your answer will be sent to correct address. So if you don't mind, there's a pastor lifting up uh, a, a, a banner, the roads canceling on it. Some pastor who have been assigned by our father and the Lord are there, to take those details from you. So please, if you don't mind, kindly follow that man of God. And let the church of God begin to clap our hands. We can do better. We can do better. We can do better. You can do it better. We are in the season of double portion. Make your clapping double portion. So that God can multiply your portion. Make it double. Double Double, 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 double. Thank you, eternal Father. In Jesus' name, 
We have given him clapping tongues. Now, you are going to lift up your hand before we do the rest of the thing we need to do. Lift up your right hand, everyone. You are going to say, my father, my father. Open a book of remembrance for me. My father, my father. Enough is enough of reproach. Turn and convert my shame to fame. Enough is enough of shame. Lord, turn my shame to glory. Enough is enough of this monthly disappointment. Lord Almighty, turn it around. Turn around every medical report that is against me. Lord, I command you will turn it for me. You will turn it to, to be favorable to me. In the name of Jesus. Are you praying, my brother? Are you praying, Father? Lord Almighty, open your book of remembrance. In the name of Jesus. Turn every report that is negative to me to be a good report. Change every negative report to positive one. In the name of Jesus. Change. Change it. Change it, Lord. Change it, Lord. Change it, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. One more prayer. Everyone who have been waiting on God, I want you to put your hand on your womb. It doesn't matter whether you are male or female. You are going to command. You are going to pray and say, Oh God, arise. Command my womb to produce in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise. Command my womb to produce. Rectify everything that is wrong. Everything that is wrong. Rectify it. Command my womb to produce. 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 Oh, command my womb to produce. Command my womb to produce. In the name of Jesus. Command the womb of everyone here. By the reason of your word. To produce. Every womb here. Produce. Whatever it is. That doesn't resemble. Good report of God. Let it be totally banished. To the glory and the praise of the name of the Lord. My womb. And the womb of people here. The people of God in this house. Let the womb produce. Produce babies. Produce babies. Let there be harvest of babies. Thank you, Father. We worship you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. One more prayer. You are going to, and you are going to do it. You are going to pray and say, my Father. Whatever negative report, contrary to my husband, my wife, overrule and overwrite in the name of Jesus. Whatever negative report against my wife, the Messiah is blocked for Lopuan too. You had the testimony on, on Friday during the double portion. <laughs> All kind of thing was wrong with that lady. But she brought a child. And we cannot see it. Whatever it is. They may say this low spam count. No spam count. They may say it's over age. They may say something. Lack of fruit. I mean lack of egg. Whatever negative report. Against my wife against my husband. I stand today as the one that you have empowered to decree. 
I am decreed in the name of Jesus. Let it be turned around to the glory and the praise of the Lord. Let it be turned around. Let it be turned around. Let it be turned around. Convert it, Lord. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Father in heaven, we thank you. We have a father who can do all things. We have a father that his mind is full of us. Thank you for this zero hour today. And we have raised prayers. Everyone who has prayed, whether actual or virtual, wherever they are, let the prayer be answered in the name of Jesus Christ. I didn't stand there in my own capacity. I stand because I'm commissioned to be here. And the commissioning has, has the backing of the man of God who has a statutory right to stand on this altar, other in the Lord. We decree over your life based on those particular datum of ref, that particular datum that in your life from today a new chapter of a new beginning will be opened in your life in Jesus name chapter of reproach and shame is perpetually closed in the name of Jesus every resort against your wife, against your husband against your lineage they are totally cancelled in the name of Jesus there will be good report for you from now in nine months we will celebrate harvest of babies in your house. From this day on, what has not been working, God will put them to work. God is the manufacturer. What cannot be repaired can be replaced. Whatever cannot be repaired in your life, says the medical doctor, the Lord will replace in the name of Jesus. God's spare part will replace it in the name of Jesus. The one who performs surgery without a knife, Without a mark, we perform his spiritual surgery upon your life and there will be productiveness in the name of Jesus Christ. This day, there will be celebration on world. And because you say amen, you will be the first to receive in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Father. And when God has done this, the heart of thanksgiving will never leave you. In Jesus most blessed name we pray. And let the people of God shout a big amen. Please package your offering and um, the choir will help us and I will pray and I will tell you what to do as you go. God bless you. Choir over to you. Sir Amma.
never knew you can honor me this way, daddy. I never knew you can honor me this way. You have honored me this way. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. for the giving of our offerings we ask that you will receive the offering from us use it for your glory return multiple back to us in the name of Jesus we ask that this offering of double portion to break I mean to enjoy fruitful life Lord Almighty will be acceptable unto you in the name of Jesus. And we ask that by the time we are coming back next month, if Jesus study, will come expecting, will come, and you will have started what you desire to do in our life. Thank you, blessed Father. And in the kingdom of the righteous, count us worthy to be there. In Jesus' mighty name, we we'll pray. Everyone, wherever you are, you have written to daddy that um, he will pray with you. All you need to do for, for us is to lay your hand wherever you are and I will say a word of prayer. And after that, before you go, you come via this altar, this exalted altar where our father in the Lord usually stay, not the, those one, those of you who are down who are in the other side. You touch it and said, I receive my babies and then you can go. Shall we just pray? Father, those who have written to our daddy for prayers, they are laying their hands upon their head. I pray, whatever is their heart desire that they will have mentioned to daddy, if they are one on one with him, we ask that you will answer them speedily in the name of Jesus. Because you put your own hand on your head, you will carry your testimony by yourself in the name of Jesus. God that never disappoints will not allow any disappointment in your life. Your testimony will be loud and clear on this altar in the name of Jesus. And for everyone, Lord Almighty, as they tap into the anointing on this altar today, let them receive harvest of baby. And in the kingdom of the righteous, let us be there to reign with Christ. Thank you because it is done. Jesus mighty name will pray. Unless someone shout a big amen. God bless you. Indeed, God bless us all in Jesus' name. A big thank you to everyone who is staying to Dove Television to watch the Divine Encounter and also the Shiloh Hour. We we'll see you next year.